this is where people are me asking, Alex, what is the best formation for long blue counter? What is the best formation for key counter? How do I play this per player? Can I play this formation? Is it? Uh, can I play defensive fullback? And th this is all the questions can be asked, answered easily uh, by just taking a look at what works currently and what people who are uh, really competing on the highest level are doing. It doesn't mean that you'll be playing just as good as them when you're using the same players and using the same formation. Just goes to show that it is convenient uh, for them to use these players in this formation. And it is good when you can follow these people, right? And see their gameplay, understand what they're doing with their players. For me, I've been a big fan of uh, number 10 in this list. It's Suterman. And uh, I watch his gameplay and understand what he's doing with his players. I understand what he's doing with his fullbacks. I understand why they're defensive fullbacks. By the way, you all... You're our lucky bastards because you're getting this uh, Casa Corta for free. You see, and even he trained his Casa Corta differently. Mine Casa Corta, I, I trained it using my idea what I need from my left back. And all these overall merchants, people who are saying, Alex, you trained your card incorrectly. Well, my Casa Corta is higher than his Casa Corta. Does that mean that I am going to be playing better than oh, this man, number 10? And probably not. Probably when I'm playing, if I'm playing worse no, than him, so. my Costa Corta yeah, is trained to a higher overall I number. Also. And I play worse. Yes. And like, let us like put two and two together. And that means that probably this person knows how to train their cards better than I do. It's not necessarily, it's gonna be making a huge difference. On your level, when you're playing in divisions, you're getting division one, trying to grind rank, it is pretty much the same. On the highest level, it might be actually making a difference because what Konami wants, I think uh, what he did with his, his Costa Curta, he trained more offensive, oh sorry, defensive awareness. So this Costa Curta is um, better defensive. At the same time, it's a fantastic stacked team. This formation also, I explained what, what works, right? Longbow counter and 4-2-3. Longbow counter and 4-4-2. All the variations of that. With the attacking midfielders, with right-left midfielders. Two strikers work. Three uh, forwards work when you have wingers. What doesn't work is three at the back. I think that's the only formation that we can tell for sure that nobody's playing that. In top 10, you will not see that. Also, you need to take into consideration that not, not all people in this list are actual uh, pro players. Some of them are cheaters, right? And I'm not going to be pointing fingers because I have no idea, but uh, you can easily figure it out by the way uh, their team are looking. Uh, the, there is a chance that they are cheating, right? There is a chance that, for instance, with this team, I find it difficult to imagine that he is actually very competitive. I think previously it was Santos. You could have gotten this one using Santos. I'm not sure if this is the case right now. There are certain SAS uh, accounts that you will see. Uh, let's not uh, get carried away. I think this is actually a proper account. Division 6, uh, right, ranked 6 previously. Argentina formation, look at this. Like I said, 4-4-2, very viable. Defensive midfielders to defend. You also need to take this with a grain of salt. Maybe they are doing some masquerade and pretending like that this is their main teams, they're hiding their teams, only playing with the teams, and when they're not playing, they're hiding. I think this is uh, also like a pro player. I think this is a legit player. Again, 4-3, long ball counter, full uh, big time featured epic team. And the way he only can improve his team is by getting uh, boosted Karl Heinz Rimenige. And uh, that's pretty much it. That you can't you can't improve on this team. And look how, how many attacking players he has. Only because he has defensive fullbacks or people who players who have like 19 defensive awareness at least 95. And then you have Sakai. I think he's defensive fullback. And you have Araujo, who is not a defensive fullback, but uh, he's good. I think he performs for him. He is not playing Tomiyasu there, right? I think I don't know why. But um, yeah, this is his decision. But ultimately, this solid backline allows you to have. Easy transition in the attack, and that is where you can have a lot of attacking players. Look, he has no box-to-box -box players. Both Ribéry and Maradona are where attacking. Uh, but I think that he's going to be having trouble with intercepting the ball in the middle, because that's going to be very difficult. These players, neither Maradona nor Ribéry can intercept the ball. I don't know how it works. Maybe it works for him. Well, uh, regardless, uh, he's rank 4 currently, so look at this. Yeah, this one. I think this one was very popular before and many people were using this formation. Also, another um, testament to the fact that you need to have defensive fullbacks. So you have uh, right and left backs, defensive fullbacks currently, Avon Bisaka and Kasakurta. Also, people are saying, oh, Neymar is bad, Neymar is free card bad. Look, top 10 player is using Neymar. He has him uh, benched. Goes to show it's a good card. 
Also, just pulled Taurus for free, and he also has Taurus on the bench. Let's take a look at this one. I think this is a legit one. Like, this is so popular, by the way. Four, two, two, two. And you have, um, again, Tamiyasu. At least he is defensive fullback. And then Robertson, for some reason, that card is absolutely uh, very, very good defensively. He's weak physically, but he's really good defensively. And then you have uh, Vieira and uh, you have De Jong. This De Jong is just as good as his player the week card because he can defend, he can dribble, can pass. Very good utility player. Can play as a center back. Maybe this one not, but if you got the player the card, it's just like as good as this one, I think. And have Cruyff and Messi to pass, to dribble, to shoot. And all of them can do this, right? Both Cruyff and Messi can finish. Kaka can finish and Salah can finish. And Salah, why he is playing left-footed players on the right? Because he's cutting inside and taking a curl. He's luring into thinking like people who don't know what's happening. They think he's running with this Messi down the wing and crossing. No, 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 he's going to be cutting inside eventually. And then cutting inside on Messi's stronger foot. Double touch and stunning shot, double touch and curl. And it's finito. And the bench is also very good. Bench is fantastic too. So yeah, there you go. This is the review, short review of the top 10 standings. How you're supposed to be playing to win games. Um, I think it's up to you, right? Long ball counter, quick counter. You see what people are doing? If you have a chance to see their gameplay uh, live, because uh, I think two people out of this top 10 are uh, streaming live. Check out their gameplay. Try to replicate that, right? Don't rush with the passes, because that's the most common mistake. People try to play ping pong. They're afraid of other people uh, pressuring you like there is no tomorrow. And they play this one to passes, and that's where you're getting crushed by people who know how to manually defend. And also switching to manual defending is also important. Manual switching is also important, I think. And uh, this sort of card, I would love to get my hands on that one as well. This is also a solid team. Only fraud, in my opinion, here is Nuno Mendes, but I think he performs, right? I think they, somehow they made this card that is good defensively. Also, a few big-time cards. Like, you see, he played this game for a while. This is, like, big-time cards from a football 2023, I think. Or, like, from a year ago. But at the same time, he was never before ranked, and now he's ranked number 9. I mean, it's a little bit sus. But anything can happen. Anything can happen. So, you can judge, you can make... Uh, uh, all I would recommend you to... Shoot a man, right? I know that he's legit 100%. I know that he's streaming his games, he's playing live, and uh, I watch his videos, I've been uh, subscribed to him, I think, since he had, like, 30,000 subscribers. Now he's... Uh, overachieved, like outpaced me, and he like and he only does videos in Japanese to a certain audience, and uh, I am uh, his um, avid viewer. So if you will be in his chat, say hi from Alex. <laughs>